लेट्स आर द जनरल एप्टीट्यूड द क्वेश्चन वन राजीव गांधी खेल रत्न अवार्ड वॉज कॉन्फर्ट डैश मैरी कॉम एक्स एक्स टाइम वर्ल्ड चैंपियन इन बॉक्सिंग रिसेंटली इन एस सरेमनी डैश द राष्ट्रपति भवन इन न्यू डेली सो ऑप्शन आर ए विथ कॉमा एट बी ऑन इन सी ऑन एट डी टू एट सो वी नीड हियर एडव सो द आंसर इज सी ऑन एट Question two. Despite a string of poor performances, the chances of KL Rahul selection in the team are dash. Option A slim. Option B bright. C obvious. D uncertain. So here we need an adjective. So and it should be a strongly assertive one. So it is B bright. Question three. Select the word that fits the analogy. Cover, uncover, associate. Options are. Unassociate, B inassociate, C misassociate, D dissociate. Associate. So the right answer is D dissociate. Question four. Hit by flood, the Kharif crops in various parts of the country have been affected. Officials believe that the loss in production of the Kharif crop can be removed in the output of Ravi crops so that the country can achieve its food grain production target of 291 million tons in the crop year 2019-20. They are hopeful that the rains in the July-August will help the soil to retain moisture for a longer period. Helping winter sown crops such as wheat pulses during the November-February period. Which of the following statements can be inferred with the given passage? Option A: Officials declared that the food grain production target will meet due to good rains. Option B: Officials want the food grain production target to be met by November February period. Option C: Officials feel that food grain production target cannot be met due to floods. Option D: Officials hope that food grain production target will be met due to good ravi produce. The option is correct. Option is D. Officials hope that food grain production target will be met due to good ravi produce. Question five: The difference between the sum of first two n natural numbers and the sum of first n odd natural numbers is option A n square minus n, option B n square plus n, option C two n square minus n, option D two n square plus n. So. Let's solve it to get the answer. In this question, we need to find the c equals to a minus b. That is, a will be sum of first two n natural numbers, and b will be the sum of first n odd natural numbers. So, so for sum of n natural numbers, we know that it is n plus one by two. Okay, this is first. Now, here we have n equals to two n, two n natural numbers. So it is two n. Putting in one, putting this value in this. So two n, two n plus one divided by two. So it will be n two n plus one. It will be two n square plus n. So this will be your a. Now we need to find the sum of first n odd natural numbers. For the sum, the formula is n by two, two a plus n minus one d. So this is the first term. This is the difference. And this is how many terms we want to find out. It will give the sum. So it is sum of first n odd natural numbers. So we'll start writing the numbers. Okay. So first digit is one. Difference is one minus three, two. So n by two, two, one, n minus one. Okay, n by two, two plus n minus one, two. Which implies n by two, two plus n minus one by two. So, if taking out two, it will divide this. So, 
it will be n 1 plus n minus 1 so it will be n 1 plus n minus 1 so 1 1 will go off so it will be n into n is equal to n square so this will be our b so now this minus this so 2n square plus n minus n square it will be this and this so it will be n square plus n this is the answer the answer is option b n square plus n now let's go to second set of questions carrying two mark each question number six repo rate is the rate at which reserve bank of india lends commercial banks and reverse repo rate is the rate at which rbi borrows money from commercial banks which of the following statement can be inferred from the above passages option a decrease in repo rate will increase the cost of borrowing and decrease the lending by commercial banks option b increase in repo rate will decrease the cost of borrowing and increase lending by commercial banks option c increase in repo rate will decrease the cost of borrowing and decrease lending by commercial banks option d decrease in repo rates will decrease the cost of borrowing and increase the lending by commercial banks so the right option is option d question 7 p q r s t u v and w are seated around a circular table one s is seated opposite to w second u is seated at the second place to the right of r third t is seated at third place to the left of r and four v is never of s so which of the following must be true option a p is a never of r b q is never of r c p is not seated opposite to q d r is left neighbor of s let's see the problem you can see P, Q, R, S, T, U, V and W are seated around the circular table. S is seated opposite to W. U is seated at second place to the right of R. T is seated at the third place to the left of R. And V is the neighbor of, neighbor of S. So, for the must be true conditions, we draw P, Q, R, S, T. Now, in this direction, P, Q, R, S, T. Then, P Q R S T then P Q R S T U likewise. It is asked which of the following must be true. P is a neighbor of R. Q is a neighbor of R. P is not seated opposite to Q. R is left neighbor of S. Now let's see the options. So P is neighbor neighbor of R. P is neighbor of R. R is quite far. Now Q is neighbor of R. Yes, it can be. Q can be neighbor of R. Next is P is not seated opposite to Q. Q is not seated opposite to Q. It's a neighbor, not opposite. P and Q. So if it is opposite, it should have been over here. Opposite. Opposite. So this should be a must be con condition. Now let's see the one more left option. R is left neighbor of S. R is left neighbor of S. So this can be changed because different permutation combinations. So the right answer is P is not seated opposite to Q. P is not seated opposite to Q. Question 8. The distance between Delhi and Agra is 233 km. A car P starts travelling from Delhi to Agra and another car Q starts from Agra to Delhi along the same road one hour after the car P started. The two cars cross each other 75 minutes after the car Q started. Both cars were travelling at constant speed. The speed of the car P was 10 km per hour more than the speed of car Q. How many kilometers that car Q had travelled when the cars crossed each other? Option R. A 66.6, option B 75.2, option C 88.2, option D 116.5. Let's see. The car travels from Delhi to Agra. So the distance between Delhi to Agra will be 233 kilometers as given from the problem. The car P tra uh, travels from point P to Q and the car Q travels from Agra to Delhi. So we have made three points, point A, point B and point C. So the this car 
has traveled the total time 1 hour plus 75 minutes. So in the problem it is stated that this car starts 1 hour late than the P. So in the meantime the P will travel 1 hour plus 75 minutes. The 75 minutes is the time that after car Q has started they met. So this car travels 75 minutes and this car travels 1 hour 75 minutes when they meet at point B. So here let the velocity of car Q be V and the car P V V plus 10 kilometers per hour. Here in this problem the main thing is here to notice that we need to change the units from kilometer per hour to meters per second. So all things kilometer distances should be in meters and time should be in seconds. So one kilometer is equal to 1000 meter, one minute is equal to 60 seconds, one hour is equal to 3600 seconds and one kilometer per hour is equal to 1000 by 3600 3, that is 0 0.277 meters per second. Now here the AC is 233 kilometers that is uh, two, uh, that is 233000 meters the velocity of car q is equal to v the velocity of car p is equal to v plus 10 kilometers per hour or v plus 2.778 meters per second 75 minutes is equal to 4500 second and 1 hour is equal to 3000 second 1 hour plus 75 minutes is equal to 8100 8, second we know that distance is equal to speed into time so the BC, the BC value will be velocity into time, that is 4500 seconds, this is taken as 1. Now AB, the AB distance will be velocity plus 10 kilometers per hour extra into 8100 seconds time. AB can also be written as 233 minus BC, 233 minus BC, 233 into 10 raised to power 3, that is meters, distance is in meters. So here every distance is in meters and time is in seconds. So here is the equation. Now we put the BC value here. So BC is equal to V, uh, v into 4500 seconds. So the distance minus 4500 velocity is equal to V 8100 plus 2.78 into 8100 seconds. So multiplicate we transfer this to here and this goes here then subtraction addition then division so velocity we will get is 16.70 meters per second here we get the velocity 16.70 meters per second putting in one that previous equation BC is equal to V into 4500, here 16.70 velocity into 4500 seconds, so BC is 75,150 meters, BC is equal to 75.15 kilometers or approximately BC is equal to 75.2 kilometers. Here is the solution of the problem, complete solution. You can pause and uh, write down the notes if you want. So for the question 8, the answer is B, 75.2 kilometers. Now let's see the question number 9. For a matrix M is equal to M i j, i j is 1, 2, 3, 4. The diagonal elements are all zeros and M i j is equal to minus M j i. The, mini the mi minimum number of elements required to fully specify the matrix is. Options are A, 0, B, 6, C, 12, D, 16. Let's see. As stated from the question, the diagonal elements are 0 and then putting other elements and then seeing the options, we see that the correct option is B, 6. So 6 is the correct answer for this. Question number 10. The profit shares of two companies P and Q are shown in the figure. If two companies have invested a fixed and equal amount every year, then the ratio of total revenue of the company P to the total revenue of company Q during 2013 to 2018 is... Options are 15 is to 17, 16 is to 17, 17 is to 15, and 17 is to 16. So, let's see. 6, so, 100 into 6, it will be 600. Equal expenditure for both. So, for P, the profit is 200. For Q, it is 250. So, ratio will be 600 plus 200. 600 plus 250. It will be 800 by 850. 
it will be 16 by 17. So answer is B.